But to be restored when one misses it is to genuinely repent of one's sin. And here is where we have the problem. Second Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1. Having therefore these promises dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from the filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Now, verse 10. For godly sorrow work at repentance to salvation, not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world work at death. So, <laughs> whatever you are not truly sorry for, you have not truly repented of. You have to be sorry before your repentance will deliver. Godly sorrow is what makes repentance work. Without being sorry for the wrong, you cannot be forgiven because your repentance will not fly. It is being sorry for the wrong that makes our repentance fly and brings us refresh in return. My God. Isn't it I'm sorry? Oh, it's only in the body of Christ to say, I'm sorry, and you're smiling. No. No. Be sorry for your wrong. And you will clear them off. As you put your trust in him. Be sorry for your wrongs. We are going somewhere. If Joseph had sold out to Potiphar's wife, he would die ahead of domestic staff. There's something ahead of you. Satan is envious of you. He wants you robbed of it. Kick him out. Kick him off your path. It takes being sorry for the wrong, for our repentance to fly. It takes being sorry for the wrong. Being sorry for the wrong. You carry that dirty things in your hand and throw it off and say, away with you forever. One of my sons was down on an, under an attack. He was about to die, but God rescued him. And so they brought some things for him from home. He told his driver, follow them and throw it to the river in their presence. If God cannot heal me, let me die. He's alive today. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 